Hey, Virgo. So let's see what's coming up for you guys. In the last half of May, let's get straight into your reading, okay? Oh, sorry. We're going to be using the Enchanted Map Oracle cards to set the theme. What's coming up for Virgo? Bone Collector. Ooh. That one came up for um, Gemini. Yeah. No. Taurus. Was it Taurus? Yeah, it was Taurus. This one came up for Taurus. So if you have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with the Taurus, this could be a situation both of you are dealing with. Bone Collector. Let's read the message. It's numero uno. I don't know why I'm saying that like a white person. <laughs> when I can definitely say that in Spanish. Okay, Bone Collector says, You are whole and have everything you need within. When the Bone Collector appears, she's asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation similar to the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you have what you need and you'll find you have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you. So basically shadow work. You got to do shadow work because this is... I'm going to give an example of what it's referring to. I want you to think of, of a family of kittens that's somehow in a country where there's only dogs. And they're called weird. They're called ugly because these people can't see the aesthetics. Imagine that. Just imagine how absurd that would be. So these kittens are raised with the idea that they are unlovable, that they are ugly, that they are undesirable, that they're a burden. That's what happens to a lot of people when in reality, it's just that they're raised around somebody who can't appreciate cats, someone who's not a cat lover. And the first time they come across a cat lover, they're not going to believe it. They're going to be like, you're lying. I know better. I know because the people I trusted as an authority in my life told me this. So you need to really dig, 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 dig. What is it that these people... What is it that you were taught as a child? So we're going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot for the actual reading and the tea leaf for the clarification, okay? Why am I... <laughs> I'm shuffling in reverse. Okay, weird. You know what? It's okay. So let's do this. What's coming up for Virgo mid-month? We've got three of wands. What's coming up for Virgo? The Knight of Swords. All right. What's coming up for Virgo? King of Swords. The Three of Cups. Hmm. Mm mm mm. The Magician. Oh, damn, that one fell. The Fool. Hold on, let me get it. Okay, it was the Nine of Cups. Let's see. What else for Virgo? Six of Swords. And Three of Swords. With the Two of Cups. Wow.
Virgo. I have a feeling I'm talking to male Virgos for some reason. That rarely happens. It's usually very female. So either one, I feel like I'm talking to masculine energy. Let me put it that way. So either this is Virgo masculines I'm talking to. Or Virgo, I'm picking up the energy of the person you're dealing with, the masculine you're dealing with, okay? So I see two of cups here. Somebody falling in love, but they're guarding themselves against this because this is a new experience. This love that they're experiencing is not something that they know how to handle. It's not something that they understand but they want, it's like they're curious about it and they're like, no, no, stand firm, stand firm, stand firm. But it's just, is mesmerizing. So Virgo, this could work out a couple of ways. And honestly, it could be that you're a feminine Virgo and you just have a lot of masculine energy in your chart. And that's what I'm picking up on. But we've got Empress energy here. <clears throat> so you might be who I'm picking up. You could be the Empress that I'm picking up on. Um, somebody's in a connection. I'm, I just have to say it. We have three of cups, three of swords, and then the empress. I can't, it's, it's, it is what it is. Somebody's in a connection and they're falling in love with someone who's not their partner. Let me put it that way. This empress could also have earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. <sighs> There's a lot of anxiety here. There's a lot of, but. Yeah, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anxiety, but there's also both people feel the potential of this connection. Oh, damn. The lovers. Yeah. Both people feel the potential. So a decision needs to be made. A decision needs to be made about, well, what's... Hold on. What is this? What's going to be done? Which way are we going to go? How are we going to move forward with this? Because... Something needs to, something's got to give. Actually, we've got three threes. I knew I had seen another one. Three of wands, three of cups, three of swords. Three threes. So Virgo, if you're the feminine that's in a partnership and you know that you're not looking at anybody else, Then this could be your partner yearning yearning some for someone else this could be somebody that they keep calling a friend but i think you know better because virgo is very intuitive um you guys are very very intuitive honestly any sign can be but especially virgos y'all are very detail oriented y'all pick up on all these little things that most people don't so with the three of cups, you're like, mm-hmm, yeah, friend, my ass. So you're already dealing with the heartbreak. You know, you know that th if this is your partner, you know that their heart doesn't belong to you. And if I'm talking to a Virgo masculine energy, whether that I'm just going to direct it at that point, because I'm not here to guilt trip people, really. Um, so Virgo, you're falling in love. You are feeling hurt, though. You, it's like it hurts you to hurt someone that you're with but you're at this place where you just can't fight it anymore because i do think you've been trying i'm gonna be real about that nine of wands right beneath the two of cups you've been protecting yourself and guarding your heart and pushing this person away you've been cold you've been distant you've been really trying to stay away from this and it just didn't pan out the way you thought it would so i think you're getting to this place where you're realizing I'm staying in a place where we don't love each other because you don't. And this is something outside of a connection. And you're like, why am, I, why am I here? Because we have two people here. This is you and your partner. So this could be, I could be reading for somebody who's in a same-sex connection. And both are masculines. Or I could be reading for um, a couple where the feminine also has a lot of masculine energy. But it's more intellectual. The minds, the meeting of the minds is a very intellectual thing. It's not romantic. There's more of a friendship here. It's more platonic. 
and oops sorry and whatever the other connection is it's not platonic so virgo i feel like the reason that you know you you have associated with this person as a friend and you got to a place where you missed their energy because they have it all and with the magician it means that they match you on every level they match you in intellect they match you in passion they match you in emotion they match you in the material world everything they match you in every way and i think you're at this point where you're like i just i want to take a leap of faith i'm tired of fighting this fighting it is exhausting i don't want to fight it anymore i know i'm gonna hurt somebody but it's like i'm gonna hurt them more by just denying the truth and there are 10 swords on the table so first two swords there's been a lot of denial here and i saw that in in taurus reading i'm pretty sure so you could have taurus and virgo energy there's been a lot of denial and there's been slow acknowledgement that yes there is someone else in your energy that you are falling in love then came four of swords i think that you're trying to heal the part of you that really struggles to accept this love that really struggles to believe you're worthy of this love because we do have four swords you're trying to really understand why do i shy away from it why does this beautiful love feel so uncomfortable where was this part of me broken you are looking at it you are examining it and then comes the five of swords i think you're already dealing with arguments fights disputes with your current partner and you're at this place where you just wanted to stop you just wanted to to end so i'm gonna be real the six of swords with the knight or the king you just stop one you either stop talking and start keeping things to yourself because you're like if i talk i'm gonna lie i don't want to lie so i'm just gonna keep it to myself but in a way omission of the truth is a lie right let's let's just call a duck a duck if it walks like a duck it quacks like a, it's a fucking duck okay so just because you're like i'm not acknowledging it that doesn't mean it's not true and the six and the knight and the king is the eight of swords so you feel trapped you feel like this relationship is suffocating you now you're just at your wits end we have nine swords here you are probably struggling to sleep you've got all these you're you're in worst case scenario because you're in a place of trauma you're coming from a place of trauma you're coming from the place of you know what that person what if they're not real what if i walk away from this and hurt somebody and it, it just all crashes and burns and i'm just looking like a damn fool and this and that and we've got the ten of swords ultimately i think that by the end of this month you'll reach the point where you're just like uh, okay I, ha I just have to do i just have to do it i just have to do it i i have to although two and three of five so the five of cups is here for two reasons i think one because i think that there might have been a break in communication between you and this empress whatever the empress is it could also be a male that has a lot of feminine energy there's a break in communication it's led to a lot of grief a lot of sadness heartbreak until you're you're at it it clarified things for you it brought you it sharpened your choice to where you're like okay so either i stay where i'm at and grieve and cry or i take a leap of faith explain what's happening i will make someone else grieve and i will also cry because i'm i love this person maybe not romantically but platonically and take a leap of faith in another direction it's terrifying because twice actually i would say like three different times we see this person standing on a precipice if it's it feels like taking a leap on, into this valley that's what it feels like and you're terrified because you're a kitten and you've been told all your life that nobody likes kittens and whoever told you that is wrong people adore kittens but because this was 
something that you were told over and over and over. It's like become a tape recorder in your head. Nobody likes kittens. Nobody likes kittens. Nobody likes kittens. And so you don't feel lovable. You don't feel like you deserve love. You're not worthy of love. So whoever it is that has you melting, you're trying to figure out why you're acting this way, why you're running from it, why you're afraid of it, and why you're terrified of embracing it. Because this person acts like they adore kittens, because they do. So let's go ahead and clarify. And um, I'm going to start part one here. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to share, react, comment, follow the page. Even if the comment is a little emoji that pushes my algorithm, shows me you appreciate my time and energy. Okay, so please make sure to do so. React to the post. And um, if you really want to see part two, subscribe. And that honestly really supports me as well. So I will see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.